Hey gorgeous humans, I thought I would do a quick video and show you guys what I do in the mornings, just super quick, um, going through my own um, quick movement uh, yoga practice. So nothing too amazing, I'm not a full trained yoga teacher, this is just functional movements that I've found along the way that have enabled me to create a lot more movement throughout my whole body. So generally I'll start off with in the standing position, dropping my, dropping my chest to my legs, and just hanging there, crossing my arms over and just hanging, letting go of my neck and just really creating that position. If you can lift your butt a little bit higher and allow your body to just stretch out the back of the legs, but it's really is elongating the spine. It's elongating through the back of the legs and allowing so much more. You quite often find a few pops or cracks along the way. Then from here, I'll come down into a downward dog. And in this phase, in this position, it's really good to stretch out your calf muscles. So I'll if it's a bit hard, I'll walk my calf muscles and then push down and really aim at pushing the chest through the arms towards the toes and step through, push through. If it's hard, just, just make it a, a, a progression. Just do the best you can, push through for as long as you can, step it out, push through for as long as you can and create that flexibility through the spine. From here, I'll then go into some, um, the, the morning salute, morning sun salute. And from here it is, Pushing through if you can, without touching the ground. Coming to arch the back into a sun salute. So I'm keeping my legs off the ground. I'll go this way for you. So from here it is, arms wider than shoulder width. From downward dog into a sun salute. If that's too hard for you, you can actually just come onto your elbows, hands flat on the ground and just looking back behind you or to the roof, just for two, three breaths. From here you can straighten it through, so if I'm in my full position, I'm on my toes, and I will then arch my back, looking behind me, and then I might come to one side, look for my toes, come up, look to my side. From here, drop back into child's pose. Just take a second to breathe here. And then coming up, I'll go into down, so it's generally three to five breaths in each position. I'll go to back into downward dog. From here, I'll reach one leg up. So foot coming outside of the hand. I'll stand, or sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll come up into an upright position, keeping my hips square, squeeze the buttocks underneath and keep it tucked. You'll feel a stretch through this muscle here. Keeping it tight, pushing forward. So from this side position, it looks a little something something like this and pushing that glue under keeping it nice and tight stretching through here once i've done about three to five breaths i'll then sit back on my haunches straighten out my front foot and flick my toe back this will stretch through the calves again and through your um your hammies keeping it nice and tight then from here i'll come up onto that front leg Okay, and you can do some deep breath up, both arms up above the head, stretch back, hold that for three breaths. Me coming to warrior one, so we'll take that back foot, so from here, take that back foot and twist it. One arm straight out in front, one straight out behind me. And see how I've got a straight line down my body here, from this position, here. Leaning into that front leg, keeping a right angle on this front knee. Then I'm going to breathe and push forward. And from the forward position, push forward. Come up and back again. A few deep breaths in, holding your balance. Once I've done that, coming down like a windmill inside of my foot. I'm just going to keep my body straight, looking out to the side. Hand up at the sky, hold that pose. On the side, that looks something like this. Whoop, take my balance. Looks like something like this. I'm gonna keep my, my legs, my shins are in alignment with my arms on the front. If you wanna deepen it, you can take your hand behind and you'll see my hand just touch inside of my leg here. Or you can deepen it even further and bring this hand in behind and connect behind. So that would look something like this position, this position, 
and come through and opening out. From here, I then come up. Okay, deepen that position again. And if you like to, you can then bring this opposite elbow on the outside of the knee. Bring the two palms together at the heart, at the chest, and use this elbow into the knee and push against them and open your chest out the opposite direction. Again, holding three to five breaths. And then once you've done that, come out, step forward, drop into the chest, come back into downward dog. Pushing the chest towards the feet. Come through into salute the sun. Three to five breaths. Coming back into downward dog. And then coming into the other leg. So the other leg comes forward. Tightening the glutes, squeezing under, keeping it tight here. Chest up, shoulders back. Pushing that one through for a few breaths. Nice and tight through that hip flexor. Then pushing back, straightening out that front foot. Pushing down, letting the body weight push down. Try not to push down your knees, that's terrible for hyperextending. Stretch through the backs of the legs. Once you've had a few breaths here, coming up, standing tall, both arms together, rising up, sit down, deepen that stretch. Three to five breaths. Then into warrior one, opening out the arms. Point the hands forward, point the hands back. And we're leaning forward, coming back, tilting, twisting the hand from this position, twisting it over as we follow back. Three to five breaths, then bringing our hand into the windmill position, hands inside of that leg. Looking forward, keeping our chest open. Oh, that was a nice pop for me. One hand facing straight up, one hand facing straight down. If you want to deepen the stretch, twist from this position, twist the elbow behind. Wrap the arm, open out. Hold that for three to five breaths. Once that one's done, coming through, opening out the legs again, taking our hand outside of that leg on the other side. So pushing elbow into knee, knee into elbow, bringing the hands together in a prayer position, holding the chest open, deep breaths for three to five breaths. From here, hands down, down the dog for three to five breaths, sun salute, and back into child pose. Child pose is back on your haunches, bum back, arms, drop the forehead to the ground, recovery position, three to five deep breaths. When I'm finished, I'll come up, curl my spine, stretch it both ways, hands to feet, walk your way up. From here, rest the chin or your chest on your thighs, and then slowly imagine that you're uncoiling your spine and stacking one vertebrae on top of the other to the standing still position, arms up and around, down to the prayer position at the front of the heart and you give your thanks for the day. Obviously, it's really hot in here. Um, but obviously, you would want to um, take your time. Any questions that come up, watch this video through, I hope, <laughs> um, and then get into it. Any questions, reach out. But it's really simple. That should only take you five to 10 minutes in the morning, depending on how many breaths you go through everything. But it's a great functional movement one. It gets the blood circulating everywhere. It pushes the intestines and gets the digestion working effectively. Great for boosting the metabolism and it's good for all of the health types to do uh, because flexibility is king. Enjoy, let me know your feedback.